In this example, we're trying to determine whether or not an equation is balanced. Here's the equation, 2HCl in the aqueous phase, plus CABr2 in the solid phase, makes 2HBr in the aqueous phase, plus 2CaCl2 in the solid phase. Now the only way we can determine whether or not an equation is balanced is to count the atoms on both sides of the equation. I've got to have the same number of each type of atom on the reactant side as I do on the product side. So for example, the first atom I see in this equation is hydrogen. That H stands for hydrogen. There have to be the same number of hydrogen atoms on the reactant side of the equation as there are on the product side of the equation. If that were not the case, it would imply that hydrogen atoms either got made or destroyed as a part of the chemical reaction, and that is impossible. All right, well, let's start counting atoms then. I'm going to split the screen in half. The left side of the screen will represent all of the atoms on the reactant side of the equation. The right side of the screen will represent all of the atoms on the product side of the equation. And let's just start with the first atom I see. The very first molecule in the equation is HCl. So let's talk about the H atoms that are in HCl. How many hydrogen atoms are there? Well, in the chemical formula HCl, there is no subscript after the H. So we assume that it's one. Therefore, in one molecule of HCl, there is one hydrogen atom. However, look to the left of the molecule. There's a two there. What does that mean? That means there are two HCl molecules. So even though there's only one hydrogen atom in an HCl molecule, I got two HCl molecules. So I got to take the number of hydrogen atoms in an HCl molecule, one, and multiply by the number of HCl molecules I have, two. So in the end, there are a total of two hydrogen atoms on the reactant side of the equation. All right then, well let's look at the product side of the equation, and let's see how many hydrogen atoms are on the product side of the equation. The molecule that contains hydrogen on the product side is HBr. Once again, there's no subscript after the H, so that means there's only one hydrogen atom in an HBr molecule. However, once again, there's a two next to the molecule. That means there are two HBr molecules. So I've got to multiply the number of hydrogen atoms in one HBr molecule by the number of HBr molecules we have, two. So we see there are two hydrogen atoms on the product side. Well, that's good. There have to be the same number of each type of atom on both the reactants and the product side. That's the case here, so hydrogen atoms check out. They are balanced. All right, let's move on to the next atom. The next atom I see is the Cl atom. In HCl, there are hydrogen atoms, but there are also chlorine atoms, so we've got to balance the chlorine atoms as well. In HCl, there is no subscript after the Cl, so that means there's just one Cl atom in every molecule of HCl. Once again, there's a two in front of HCl. That means I have two of those molecules. So I take the number of Cl atoms in a molecule, one, and multiply by the total number of HCl molecules I have, two. That tells me there are two chlorine atoms on the reactant side of the equation. What about the product side of the equation? Well, on the product side of the equation, the Cl atoms are contained in the molecule CaCl2. There's a subscript of two after chlorine, that means there are two chlorine atoms in every molecule of CaCl2. So that makes two chlorine atoms. However, there's also a two in front of the molecule CaCl2. That means I have two of those molecules. So I have two chlorines in each molecule, but I also have two molecules. So I gotta take the number of chlorine atoms in a molecule, two, and multiply by the number of molecules I have, two. That tells me there are four chlorine atoms on the product side of the equation. That doesn't match with the reactant side of the equation. On the reactant side of the equation, there are only two chlorine atoms. So the chlorine atoms do not balance. We can stop right here. If just one atom is not balanced in a chemical equation, the entire chemical equation is unbalanced. So I could stop right now and say this chemical equation is not balanced because the chlorine atoms aren't balanced. However, I'm going to continue the process just for illustration's sake. So let's move on and look at the next type of atom. The next type of atom I see is Ca. The molecule CaBr2 has calcium atoms. How many calcium atoms? Well, there's no subscript after the Ca, so each CaBr2 molecule has only one calcium atom in it. 
Also, notice there's no number to the left of the molecule. That means that in this chemical equation, there's only one molecule of CaBr2. So I take the number of atoms in the molecule, one, and I multiply by the number of molecules, one, and I find that there's one Ca atom on the reactant side of the equation. If I look at the product side of the equation, Ca is in the molecule CaCl2. There's only one Ca in the molecule because there's no subscript after the Ca. So there's one Ca atom in every molecule of CaCl2, but that two next to the molecule tells us that there are two CaCl2 molecules in the equation. So I've got to take the number of Ca atoms in the molecule, one, and multiply by the number of molecules, two. That tells me there are two Ca atoms on the product side of the equation. Well, once again, the Ca doesn't balance. There's one on the reactant side and two on the product side. So the Ca atoms aren't balanced either. To complete the picture then, let's look at the last atom in the equation. The last atom in the equation is Br. CaBr2 has bromine atoms in it. In the molecule CaBr2, there are two bromine atoms. That's what the subscript means. There is no number to the left of CaBr2, so that means in this equation there's only one CaBr2 molecule. So I take the number of atoms that are in the molecule, two, and I multiply by the number of molecules in the equation, one, and I find that there are two bromine atoms on the reactant side of the equation. If I move to the product side of the equation, Br is contained in the molecule HBr. There's no subscript after the Br, so there's only one Br atom in each molecule of HBr, but there is a 2 to the left of the molecule. That means there are two molecules in the equation. So if I take the number of atoms in the molecule, 1, and multiply by the number of molecules in the equation, 2, I find there are two bromine atoms. Well, the bromine atoms balance then. There are two on each side of the equation. But that doesn't help because the chlorine atoms aren't balanced and the Ca atoms aren't balanced. In the end, then, this is not a balanced equation.